this is how my life is right now. Do I like it? No. Okay, well, let's change it. And to change it, you have to kill those old ideas. You have to kill those old patterns of thinking. You have to kill those things in order to create more life. And then when those things are working for you, they're doing great, eventually those things are going to stop working. And then you have to repeat the cycle over and over and over. All right, we back with another one. Y'all see the title? Die now, live later. Now, obviously, we all know the saying is flip the other way, but I think that is backwards, and I think it should be die now, live later. And what I mean by die now, live later is you want to get into the habit of dying before you actually die, right? So usually when you hear the word death or you, anything like that, you think of physically dying, like when your heart stopped beating or you get killed or whatever, whatever, right? That's usually what people think about. But we don't realize that we can die, I guess, mentally, meaning getting rid of old ideas and old patterns and old, you know, stuff like that. Letting go of those things and in a way, that's a form of dying, at least in my opinion. And that kind of death typically doesn't really happen for a lot of people because a lot of people just go through life, you know, listening to what other people tell them to do or living the way the society tells them they should live and just continue in the cycle of the nonsense and the bullshit. And, you know, anyway, that continues. And as human beings, we don't evolve. We don't progress. We don't get better you know we just keep doing the same things over and over and over again then we have kids and then we instill those same stupid things into our kids and then they repeat the cycle and it just keeps going and going and going and going you know what i'm saying and at least i mean depending on how many kids you have i hear that there's one in the family that's like this <laughs> so obviously i'm that one in my family and if you're watching this video you probably are that one for your family as well but we, we, we got to understand that, you know, we got to learn how to, we have to be able to identify what's working and what's not working anymore. And I don't think it's smart to just keep doing the same things over and over and over again, because in my opinion, root, like too much routine and monotony and everything is, you know, predictable and, and it's, it's all the same, like, like it's repetitive that to me is death because it's like you're not putting yourself in new situations and new scenarios you're not having to think in different ways it's just like you wake up you go to work you come home you watch tv you go to bed like it's the same thing over and over and over and over again that shit is death to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, living is being like, okay, this is how my life is right now. Do I like it? No. Okay, well, let's change it. And to change it, you have to kill those old ideas. You have to kill those old patterns of thinking. You have to kill those things in order to create more life. And then when those things are working for you, they're doing great eventually those things are going to stop working and then you have to repeat the cycle over and over and over again to me that's what life is that's what living is you know what i'm saying like some form of spontaneity or you know you just just on your toes like you never know like it's it's a level of uncertainty you know what i'm saying like that's that's what's exciting if you really think about it the most exciting things is when you're not that sure like when I'm when I'm in the gym and I'm like bench pressing or something or something like that or like cuz to me bench pressing is the the scariest lift like squatting is not that scary just drop the fucking weight <laughs> deadlift is not that scary just drop the fucking weight bench pressing is different because you can't just drop the weight cuz if you do it's going to fall on you and I've been benching really really heavy lately and like when it gets to those, like them really grindy reps where they go up really slow, that shit is scary, but that shit, I love that feeling, bro. That feeling is like what I'm looking for when I go to the gym. 
It's that feeling, that uncertainty, like I'm not sure if this is going to go up. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling myself that it's going to go up, but I don't 100% know. I'm like 80% sure that it's going to go up, 85% sure. And it's like we have to learn how to kind of live on that edge a little bit. You know, like don't stay inside the comfort zone. You got to you gotta, you gotta push the boundaries, man. And in order to do that, you have to get way of old ways of thinking. You have to get rid of them old patterns. You have to get rid of all that old nonsense that sh that just don't fucking work for you. Like, plain and simple, you know? You got to let go of the shit that don't work for you. You got to stop thinking that other people know better. Or, or you got to stop thinking that other people can tell you uh, how you should be living your life. Or what you should be doing. Or how sh you should go about certain things. Don't nobody got any of the answers for your life except you. So don't listen to anybody that's tried to tell you that. Don't even, don't even listen to me. Like, <laughs> I'm just making these videos, dog. My main purpose for all this is to is to help everybody be able to guide themselves. You know what I'm saying? Because realistically, I used to be really, really into, like, the self-improvement side of YouTube. I'm not really into that shit no more because it screwed my head on straight enough to where now I can trust myself to go out and I understand where my path is. I understand where my lane is. But... Just don't be afraid of, not even don't be afraid. Try to die as often as you can. And what I mean by that is challenge the ways that you think. Challenge the things that you already do. Challenge what's normal to you. Challenge all your little habits and, and you know what I'm saying, all the little things that you just do because it's normal. Challenge all those things and ask yourself these questions. Why do I do this? Why is that normal to me? You know what I'm saying? Start doing those things. And eventually, you'll start to uh, realize that things don't have to be the way that they are. You can change them. You know, it's just, it's all choice. You know, you have to choose to change. You have to put in the work to make things, to make new habits. You know, and you have to put in work to, like a lot of times when people want to stop doing something, they just try to stop doing it. And then that's it. It's like, no, you have to stop doing it and then insert a new habit to replace it with. Because otherwise, you're just going to keep running into the same running into the same cycle, man. So, yeah, man, that's all I got. I just had the idea and I ran with it. And this is what came out. <laughs> so, uh, y'all let me know what y'all think. I'm going to catch y'all on the next one, man. Y'all take it easy. Peace.